so today I'm just driving around start doing um, daily documentaries of myself of, of my life without without having Lauren with me it's something that I should have done a long time ago but um, I'm gonna start doing it regularly now of my life. Even in her death, she's still the biggest part of my life. Her and my son. My every thought is of Lauren. Whether it's a happy thought or a sad thought, a lonely thought, it's always of her. Um, I could be out with a group of friends and having what I call fun or what anybody else would call fun, but it's not the same ever. Um, it's not the same happiness will never be defined as true happiness once you lose a child. I don't know if it's the same um, for someone who lost a child to like an illness or if it's, um, I imagine it's just as bad. I know that having Lauren murdered in front of me has really um, caused a really bad effect on my life. And, um, it's something I live with every moment, even in my dreams. Um, I dream of her, and and it's I can't get her off my mind ever. Um, I want to make a difference in this world. If I could, I would never another parent would ever 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 go through what I go through another parent would never know the pain of losing a child to violence sometimes it's like a, just a dream I, I feel like it's it's a dream it's not really reality um, today I'm going for a ride me and Lauren used to go for rides a lot and um, it's not the same without her with me and just very sad and very depressed and it's just um, um, what I call the new normal I don't ever anticipate ever being fully happy in my life ever I have happy moments again and never ever matches the happiness that I had when Lauren was here with me. I want to put my daily life, not just the bad times when I'm crying, but what I call my, my happy moments. I want to put everything on film and put it on YouTube or whatever so that someone can watch and see the reality of what happens to a mother who loses her child. It's been two and a half years and I still feel as if it was the same day. And I just want to reach out and change lives and touch lives through Lauren's story. Lauren is amazing. Beautiful girl. The sweetest girl that ever lived that walked this earth ever. 
God created her especially for her mom. And I'm sorry if I'm having a pity party, but trust me, it's a lot of pity that I have on myself for losing such a beautiful girl. I will always, always feel the same very way that I do right now at this moment. There's nothing ever, 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 ever going to ever take this this pain away. Not until the day that I die and I am reunited with my girl. I think about being with her a lot, as I'm sure most mothers do, most parents, most anyone who's ever loved someone so much that have lost them. You always long for that person. You will never, ever, ever. There won't be one day, one second, one moment in my life that I will not long for my Lauren. I just want to make a difference in this world. I never want another parent, another human being, not even an animal to feel the way that I do. I wouldn't have this feelings, this life that I have to live. I wouldn't wish that on anyone or anything. I miss my Lauren tremendously. I know they say that it's you could die of a broken heart and I don't know how I've lived this long for two and a half years because my heart cannot be any more broken no one could have suffered or suffer as much as I do losing that girl not possible there's not possible I just want you to take a look inside my life and see what it's really like. This is me. This is me. The mother of a murdered victim. This is what my life is like every day. Sure, I put makeup on, fix my hair, and try to smile for people, but this is the true me. When people are are not with me, not looking. This is who I am. This is what I've become. This is what happened the day that my daughter died. The day that my daughter was murdered. I just want you to look at me. I can't even look at myself. But I want the violence to stop in this world. If I had one wish, it would be for my daughter to be back with me. And I will always love you, Lauren. I love you so much.